Now Dutch, if you are half the earth scientist you claim to be, we would not need to make this video to dispel all your BS. Here is a glaring example of how little knowledge and expertise Dutch has in real earthquake research. He can't even find the most basic of information. Go over to GeoNet, GeoNet New Zealand. See what they got going on. I mean, nothing on their front page. Wow, hold on. Do they not even have it listed? Let me back it out. Make sure make sure it's not just something. Yeah, they don't even have it. Hold on. Yeah, they I, what? You gotta be kidding me, man. You guys know that the New Zealand agency reported that earthquake over in Myanmar when I issued the warning for Myanmar, and, and then they issued they said it was a ghost quake. And you know that the New Zealand agency covers large earthquakes elsewhere. I, I'm shocked to see that it's not on the GeoNet site. I, I, I mean, am I going to the wrong place or something here? Hold on. <laughs> what? Okay, hold on. People in chat, am I going to the wrong place? Change the intensity? Change the intensity. I didn't think you could. Intensity, weak, moderate, might, severe. In the last 365 days, no severe earthquakes. Okay, strong. Two strong earthquakes in the last 365 days. Yeah, they don't got it. They, they, don't, they don't have it. Weak. Strong, light, moderate. Are they going to call a 7.5 moderate? They don't have it, guys. Look. Wow. Eh, well, you know, you get your information from me. Uh, that's, what you, that's what I'm here for. Uh, you know, no wonder I'm growing and blowing up in New Zealand so hard. No wonder the people who are shills down in New Zealand have such a problem with me. Look, I'm providing information they can't even get from their own multi-billion dollar agency or million whatever they spend down there. Here we go. Recapping. It would seem Dutch's viewers know more about how to use GeoNet than he does. What a twat. And he who is telling everyone what an expert he is. If Dutch had done any research of any substance over the years, you would have thought he would have learnt a few basic facts, i.e. how intensity is calculated. Now Dutch, pay attention and we will educate you. Full attention, please. I'm only going to do this once. This is called a drop down. It has options to choose from. See the word all? It means all the earthquakes. Now, isn't that easy? Da da! One seven magnitude quake found. Not lost, found. It would seem that the New Zealand GeoNet site is not stupid after all. Most people have no trouble using it. Obviously Dutch, you're a novice. Now if you have coped with the last lesson on how to use a GeoNet site, perhaps you might like to study the following and hopefully you will understand a little better how earthquake reporting happens in New Zealand. We have been told repeatedly how you have been studying for eight years now. So obviously your learning skills are slow, so take your time. We don't expect you to take it all in at once. Just pace yourself and you will get there in the end. GeoNet are very reliable and had the earthquake listed almost immediately with an automatic reading. 
Unlike you, they don't jump to conclusions and check the data carefully before coming to a best. If you looked at all of this information alone, you will see what they are working with, and it's nothing remotely like a round spinning globe. <laughs> what? Okay, well, that being said, I would like to point out that the New Zealand Civil Defense Agency and GeoNet said I was a threat last year or two years ago, and they blocked me and they issued statements about me, the New Zealand Civil Defense. And if you came over to defend me, they block you too. That was their public agency, GeoNet, denying earthquakes could be forecast and going off on me personally. Same with the New Zealand Civil Defense. So, now they don't have the earthquake right on their doorstep. Prove it. And where is your evidence? Oh, that's right, you don't have any. It's just you'll say so. And we all know how much that is worth. Okay, Dutch, you know that is all BS. Geonet and Civil Defence never mentioned your name once. Again, you are telling lies. You say you keep records of everything. So if that is the case, where is your proof? We are waiting, but we won't be holding our breath, as we know it won't be coming, as there is no proof to provide. Back over to the West Pacific, where our big earthquake struck last night with the tsunami warning. By the way, people telling me, oh, the reason you didn't find it on the New Zealand side, Dutch, you had to search, you had to search all earthquakes. It was unnoticeable. Yeah, it was unnoticeable, you know, on one of those unnoticeable sevens. You know how it goes. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. That's a good... Duh. Showing your ignorance once again, eh, Dutch? We are Kiwis, New Zealanders, not Australians. Do some homework, for goodness sake, and next time do a better imitation of our accent. That one was pathetic. That Dutch sits it. Blah, 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 blah. Well, there you go. All right. There it is, guys. 7.2 with that tsunami threat that was issued by the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. And it went on for about an hour. Then they canceled the threat. But I don't know why they canceled the threat. Unless they got buoys out there that we don't know about. You guys saw them kill it live. While I was on, you can go back and watch it. Again, showing your ignorance, Dutch. We may be at the bottom of the world, but we are not backwards. And we do have our own instruments that we use for determining whether a tsunami is likely or not. As I was on, um, classifying the seven point something earthquake, the biggest earthquake to hit just north of New Zealand in a long time, as unnoticeable. Now, I do have something to say about that. For, I don't think it's wise, personally, in my opinion, this is my opinion on this, the GeoNet and the people in New Zealand, you might want to rethink classifying your earthquakes based upon whether or not people feel them. You, you might want to, like, have a different threshold for classifying earthquakes that get reported to the public. So, to report a 7.4 earthquake and tsunami as unnoticeable and putting it on an all-earthquake speed and not even telling people it's a large earthquake, based upon whether or not someone feels it or not, that's not wise. You don't think it's wise? Well, exactly who are you to make that comment? What are your credentials? Oh, that's right, you don't have any. The extent of your knowledge is a rotating globe on your computer, populated with data from the very agencies you mock and criticize all the time. Now we have addressed your earthquake BS, it's time to turn our attention to your fear-mongering BS and paranoia. No one from New Zealand has come over to the USA and been following any of your viewers. Duh, really? Do we even need to say that? Stop being so bloody stupid. How would we even make the trip to the USA and back in a matter of minutes? And how would we know where to find these people? Get real, will you, for once in your life? Suggesting that your viewers and supporters need to be in fear of us is just plain stupidity. Do you have any idea how far away New Zealand is? I'm guessing you don't.
Before we go any further, apart from Optic saying she is being stalked, what real proof do you have that what she is saying is factual? Do you even know who Optics is? She could be a stock account, just saying. So Optics can't send a message to the police, but she can send a message through to Twitch. Hmm, interesting. Okay Dutch, trying to understand this. So these scumbags are tied to the UK government. They're deep state. They're shrills. Something about New Zealand. Hmm, very confusing. Now Dutch, can you explain this one? How are people going to come and harass your viewers when nobody knows who they are and where they live? Very confusing. Um, and who's getting paid and how much? Did you go to the FBI on Monday, Dutch? How did it go? What's happening? Be very interested to know. Now, come on, Dutch, this is really pushing the boundaries here. Nobody from New Zealand has suggested anybody harass anybody and stalk them. It's absolutely ridiculous. Dutch, you need to get your paranoia under control. You're way out of control, man. Way out of control. So now you're suggesting these stalkers are armed? These imaginary stalkers? Wow. And you say you don't do fear mongering. What a joke. And you know this how, Rebecca? You have a photo of the car that supposedly was stalking you and a photo of the car that supposedly stalking optics? Wow. Here you go, always happy to oblige. This poor girl optics just can't catch a break. Only days ago in hospital with kidney stones, food poisoning. You can take your pick here. Then stalking, and now she is in a bad car accident. Oh dear, I hate to think what the next drama is going to be. Newsflash, optics has had a car accident. She sent Rebecca pictures even. Dear, the poor girl can't remember anything. What a shame. She doesn't even remember getting to hospital. Wow. Now, doesn't this just about sum it all up? Dutch, I totally accuse the stalker, and if I'm wrong, I won't apologise either. Sounds about par for the course. Now I'm starting to get a little bit confused here. She was hit, bam, doesn't remember anything, taken to the hospital, but somehow she has photos of the car and has sent them to Rebecca. So who took the photos? How did she get photos? Hmm, very interesting. And so it goes on, like the sand through the hourglass, so is the drama in the land of Duchy. Tune in for tomorrow's riveting drama and the latest hoaxes, paranoia and unfactual news. You won't be disappointed.